How to use a microphone with your computer. First of all, you need a decent quality microphone. We do not recommend using a built-in mic on your monitor or especially a laptop. These microphones tend to be of somewhat mediocre quality and are also liable to pick up background noises such as disk drives and fans. A good choice is a combination headphone and microphone. Another popular choice is a stick microphone. This is a microphone designed to just lay down on the desktop. And here is a microphone designed to, as a clip-on lapel mic or it will also do duty as a desktop microphone. Any one of these should be perfectly adequate for you. Looking for the mic and headphone jacks on your computer. Older model computers did not utilize color coding for the headphone and microphone jacks. Here you see the headphone jack is on the left hand side and underneath it is embossed the headphone symbol in the metal case. To the right of it is a microphone jack. Here uh, we have color-coded jacks. The pink jack is for the microphone and in this particular case the headphone jack is colored blue. In some computers you will have three jacks and the headphone in that case would normally be a green color. Here we have three jacks on a computer. The microphone is pink, the headphone green, and the blue is actually a line input. You will not need to worry about that unless you're taking audio from a mixing board or similar equipment. Finally, take your microphone jack, plug that into the pink or microphone jack, and take the green plug and plug that into the green jack or speaker. Some uh, microphones come with a USB plug on them, in which case you need to locate the USB port on your computer. Most modern computers have one or more USB ports on the front side of the box. O older models you may have to look on the rear of the computer box to find a USB socket. One quick way of testing to see if the uh, microphone is working correctly is to use the audio recorder that's built into Windows XP. Go ahead and click the start button. Go to all programs. Go to accessories and entertainment and click on sound recorder. Click on the red record button. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Click stop and then click play to check that the recording has happened successfully. Testing, testing. One, two, three. That confirms that the microphone is working correctly. It might be that your microphone volume is very low, in which case we do have the capability of boosting that somewhat. Look for the speaker icon in your system bar. Double click on that to bring up the volume control. Click Options. Choose Properties. And click Recording. Make sure the microphone box is checked then click OK and we are able to manually adjust the uh, microphone volume here and if you click on the advanced button you will see down here there is a microphone boost checkbox. If the microphone volume is insufficient click that and it will give your microphone uh, considerable more volume. What to do if we still are not getting any input from the microphone? At this point it would be worthwhile checking some of the control panel settings.
go to the start button and look for control panel click on that and then on the control panel you want to look for the icon that says sounds and audio devices double click on that to open uh, first of all we're looking at the general volume here and this is for speaker settings go ahead and click on the tab that says audio and look under here for sound recording look for the default device it's possible if you've got um, multiple devices on your computer that is actually selected to a different input go ahead and make sure it's set to the correct input on this computer I need to set it to sound max HD audio for the microphone input if you're using a USB mic you may well see a different device there and you may have to select that to uh, get the input from your USB microphone go ahead make sure the correct device is selected at this point you can also click on the volume tab and that brings up the recording control allowing you to change the microphone volume I'm going to close this window down and now I can click OK here at this point all being well you should have a fully functional microphone on your computer good luck